Hey butterflies, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you're here to subscribe and stay. For today's video, it's gonna be like a really chill one. There's gonna be two parts, so I'm gonna vlog a little bit later. But for a majority of this video, I did want to show you guys a PR package. I get a couple PR packages. I've got maybe like three my entire social media career. I'm always super thankful, even if it's a small brand, I don't really care. I'm appreciative no matter what. So I got a PR box from this brand a while ago. It's my cousin's brand, the lashes that I'm always wearing. I'm wearing some of her lashes right now. Enchanted Rose Cosmetics. The other box is somewhere. It was super cute, but I'll link that video down below. But I want to open this PR with you because it's, it's a lot of new stuff that she's coming out with and everything in this box you can get money off with if you use my code LEAK15. So that's what I'm excited about most is that you guys get to save money through these products. So she really sealed this bad boy. Oh my god this is so cute i gotta post this on instagram like right now before i go into it but now we're gonna go into it i just posted it on instagram first but the very first thing that draws my attention is the box with the company name on it it's so cute in here oh my gosh i just love the sparkles but this one it has enchanted rose cosmetics on it open it i'm gonna use this container for sure and it has sponges in it these colors the fact that there's how many different three different shapes so they have the regular egg shape and they have this shape which i've been loving lately and then it has a flat side where the pointy side is which i'm very intrigued by that but i love these like neutral tones i'm a neutral person so this is really cute this is really cute i'm definitely going to be linking this website down below so that you guys can get products but i love these products to be a small brand and not even because i know the girl like the products are really really worth it and really bomb so next we have i believe these are exfoliating shower gloves yeah and then she gave me hot pink these are the cutest i love exfoliating gloves you guys already know you guys already know i exfoliate this body every day so these will definitely get put to use i'm excited for those okay so this or these are lavender this is strong lavender bath salts look at that so cute. I love that. I will be using those next time I take a bath. There's so much stuff to get into. I'm super excited. But these, I'm really excited about. So she makes these. She's beyond talented. She made all the little hair scrunchies that I used too. But these are little headbands. So when I'm doing my makeup, and I, when I tell you I needed these so bad because I wear like a regular ass hairband and. I just needed to upgrade really really bad so she makes these please support like a lot of brands buy shit that's already made and just put their name on it but this are these are things that she actually makes so that's cute because no i love sugar scrubs so she made some she made two of them rose honey and lavender honey oh my gosh i want to smell them i'm gonna smell the lavender honey because that sounds interesting i know what rose Rose is like a pretty popular scent, so I want to try the lavender one. Just a little weak. Mm. It smells really, really natural. And for it to be green, you know, for it to be lavender and be green means something because that means that she doesn't put any like colors or dyes because lavender really isn't associated with a color. I feel like people make it into purple, but lavender is like really just a natural ingredient, so... I really like that she kept like the most natural ingredients in it. I will definitely be trying out those scrubs, y'all already know. With the gloves, probably on TikTok. And then she got me a mirror. This is in China Rose Cosmetics. I need a mirror just to have in my bag. Yep. The one on bottom zooms in and the one on top is just regular. So see, you guys can see yourselves. I love this. So cute. These are the two, her new glitter eyeshadows that she came out with. I picked two colors. I picked Midnight Blue and Goddess. I want like two pretty different colors. I can't wait to try these out. I'm not like the biggest fan of glitter because it gets everywhere, but I definitely will be using those, especially for like possibly my birthday. I'll use that one glitter one. I'm gonna do the lashes last. So in here are some new, new products. This, when I saw her post this, I was like, I need it in my life. This is a lip gloss, I believe, or is it a lip? It's a lip oil, 24K lip oil. And this is so pretty, look at it. There's like a little flower in the bottom, love that. 
lip liners and they're all like berry tones you guys know i love a good lip liner so excited for these i will go over prices in a little bit but here are all the lip liners and they're very thick so you could wear them all over your lips which is nice and they're pencils so you can sharpen them this is the clear you know how people have those liners that dual as eyelash glues she has a black one that i did use recently and i really liked it this one is clear so you can just put it on and then pop a lash on which is what i already do so i will be using this i love the packaging i love it love it love it love it she has her brow pencil i don't know if she just has universal color looks like a chocolatey like brown i will definitely use that it looks very creamy i'm actually gonna swatch it so it's like a brownish color brownish pretty natural it's not as like heavy as some pencils are so you can go for a real good natural look and then the other side is a spoolie i use spoolies every day this brow looks so good let's talk about some lashes there's three in here you guys know i love the lashes so let's see what if these are all new i will know by the name if they're all new oh she gave me stickers hefa mousse love toxic <laughs> me Enter Rose Cosmetics and then a bunch of lips. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, this shit is so cute. Okay, these are in a style birthday bit. <laughs> these are really cute. I like those. Birthday bit. Okay. I love the packaging. Super cute. Unconditional Love Collection in 216.18. I know this one and the Mariana ones, which are these, are her. So this is her daughter's birthday and this is her daughter's name, Mariana. Mariana's are very like light natural but i fucks with it and then these i love these i can't wait to try these ones it's 216.18 super cute i'm gonna read this card just because it has some prices on it the unconditional love collection are 12 dollars for the lashes includes two new eyelash styles which would be these ones when she created this collection it was entirely based off of her baby girl in honor of her birthday the body scrubs are each ten dollars includes two organic homemade body scrubs in the scent rose honey and lavender honey the rose scrub is made with sugar organic honey sweet almond oil coconut oil organic lemon juice organic dried rose petal the lavender scrub is made with sugar organic honey avocado oil coconut oil organic dried lavender buds that's beautiful <laughs> and then for accessories the sponges are ten to twenty dollars includes four piece and eight piece sets pink purple yellow and green so like you can get mine in different colors and then the velvet knotted headband which she made which is this are 12 dollars or two for 20 includes 13 different colors in two different sizes adult and youth so you can get one for your little mini me if you want they are crocheted using 100 percent polyester material don't forget to promote your discount code which mine is leak 15 i'm super excited these products are really amazing i love how diverse she is and not just sticking to lashes i honestly thought she was just going to be a lash brand but it is Enchanted Rose Cosmetics, so she's really branching out. I'm super excited to use these products. I can't wait. I'm super, super excited. Um, comment down below if there's any of these that you really, really want to see me promote in the future on my channel and update you on how I like them. I would love to do that for you guys. But this stuff I am super, super excited about, especially like these sponges. These sponges are hella cute. And then these, like, the tone of, like, the colors is just really inviting to me so i'm excited for that that's that that's everything that's all the unboxings like i said you know use my code leak 15 for money off i love all of these products i've never tried anything about her that i didn't like uh i love i use her little scissors that she gave me every day she has like little scissors and like lash applicators um love her lashes like i said everything is pretty much stuff that i would use myself and i would never recommend something that i would not use myself so i do love these things I do want to give like a little bit of a life update on a certain situation so give me one second and i'm going to come back give me one second okay so it's been like an hour i changed because i'm eating and i'm watching jenny and georgia loving it so far i have my hair today too <clears throat> but i ordered some let's see mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy that's already gone but i ordered their new nashville hot chicken tenders I got some chicken. And you know, TikTok is really great for marketing because like 90% of the things that I buy now I got from TikTok. But these these are really good. Like top tier.
they were on their way when I was filming my PR unboxing, so I wanted to say a little life update since I quit my job. Um, you guys know I had a video on my channel, it's no longer up for a reason, hold on. A video on I quit my job for YouTube. I had like 300 views, got fired by my job, and now they're like investigating everything that I said, and they think that I was like fabricating stuff for views, but everything that I said in that video was 100% true. If anything, I sugarcoated it because I didn't want to say what, what type of company they really were, but it's so like not worth it, but... Whatever. They've been investigating since I quit. Um, I might insert a little clip of when I found out yesterday what I was saying. I just got like some really crazy news. I can't even like process. So a couple weeks ago, I think it's been about a month. I don't really remember exactly. It's almost a month. It'll be a month on the 17th. I posted a video on me quitting my job my last job why i quit so on and so forth it's private now it's down and it's down for a reason it's, it's irritating because in that video you know i was venting i was expressing myself youtube has always been my safe space my space to talk freely without fear of judgment or i mean we all have fear of judgment but like I spoke freely in that video and I was just expressing myself and trying to help someone else who, you know, maybe was going through the same thing as me. And it wasn't meant to go any further than that. I mean, I'm a small YouTuber. I don't get any more views than the next person. Like, I got like 300 views on that video. That's nothing. And I did notice that, like, it had been getting a lot of views lately, like a couple. And by a lot, I mean, it went from like 200 to 300. And that was like it. But. You know, I did speak on my job. I used fake names. I didn't speak on anyone. But my old coworker just told me that, you know, my entire, the entire branch that I used to work at watched that video. And they found it because they were investigating why I quit, which I don't know why the fuck they're still investigating why I quit because I quit for a reason. And I told you those reasons. And instead of worrying about me and all this other shit, like you need to worry about fixing your company. Like it's so irritating. And I took it down because, like I said, YouTube is my free my free space to speak. And I find it so rude, disrespectful. You're in my privacy. Like, once again, you're making me uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable when I worked there. And now I'm even more uncomfortable because why are you on my YouTube? How did you even find my YouTube? I don't go by my government name on any platform, period. I don't do it. Like, my business email has my name in it. But as far as that, I don't go by my name for reasons of that. Like, YouTube is my space, and I want people to come that I want to come to. And I don't want people to just find me because they want to be nosy or for bad, negative intentions. And they had negative intentions. And, you know, my coworkers saying, oh, they, they watched it, and they're investigating further, like, because now they know more or whatever. But it's like, dude, it's been three weeks. Like, why are you even... It's so, it's so annoying because... It, would, it just wasn't meant for them to see. And it wasn't a negative video. I was literally just ranting, venting, speaking on the situation. Um, I did mention a couple of things in that video that I didn't mention to them out of respect of others. And now it's just out there. So it's whatever. But I also like sugarcoated a lot of stuff too because I didn't want... I didn't want to make them look bad is honestly the truth. Because like I didn't say everything that I should have said in that video. I just said the main things, but there were so many things that happened to me at that job that I kept in. So also, I feel like them watching it, I don't want them to be like, she was lying or she really just wanted to quit for YouTube. It's a clickbait title. Everyone does the titles. Like, ultimately, I did not quit my job for YouTube. Did that help me quit my job in the end? Yes, it did. But I did not quit my job for YouTube. But the fact that they just invited invited invaded my privacy like pisses me off to the fullest because like no one invited you there no one wants you there and i called them out i called them racist in that video i called them a lot of things as much as i wanted to close that chapter it's like now they know all of my shit they know my youtube they know my instagram like 
and the reason why it matters is because i'm on the verge of getting people fired like i called out a lot of shit that opened a lot of doors no other job has ever found my youtube and i was only there for six months like sephora didn't find my youtube in and out didn't find my youtube if they found it it was because i gave my coworkers my youtube but at that job i did not fuck with anybody to give them my youtube like so it just it makes me so fucking mad bro because like you just hella invaded my privacy and i just I don't see how you could possibly think that that shit is okay. It's fucking not, like. But that's it for today's little chill video. <coughs> Make sure you thumb up this video, comment down below, and subscribe for some more Leak in Your Life. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.